Nicole, um, it's me again, just making sure that I didn't miss any of your phone calls. Um, I'm in the coffee house, and I know that sometimes I get weird reception here, so... You're probably really busy rewriting your paper. Um, just call me as soon as you get this, okay? Bye. So I ask you, what is the point of having a cell phone if you never answer it? I don't get your calls. Right. Four times! No, I mean it. They should build a cell tower on this roof. I spent enough money buying lattes here. They can afford it. So what's wrong? Why are you here? I wanted to make sure that Langston got back to the group home before curfew. Yeah, Marco drove over there like a half hour ago. Oh. Good. You're really getting into this whole mom thing, aren't you? No, well, I have to. I've applied to be her foster mother and... What, with your parents out of town, I'm in full charge of you and Jack. And by the way, there are going to have to be some changes made. And on school nights, there are to be no phone calls after 10.30 p.m. What? And on the weekends, there's got to be a curfew. What's with the crackdown all of a sudden? It used to be the cool aunt. You'd let us stay up and watch old movies and eat pizza on the couch as long as we put a clock down. I'm still the cool aunt. Then why are you acting weird all of a sudden? I'm behaving the way parents behave. Looking after you, showing my concern. Okay, well, I know that you're concerned, but you knew I was going to be here. You know that I do my homework, and if you were really looking for Langston, could have called her cell phone. So what's up? Would you like another latte? Did my dad do something to you? Did you have a run-in with Aunt Vicky? Uh, actually, I haven't heard from either of your parents, and as for Vicky, she's still damaging the reputation of Americans by being in Paris. Okay, well then, if it's not my dad and it's not Aunt Vicky, then it's your love life, huh? You blew it with Clint? There's nothing to give. So you and Clint are good. Clint and I are great. You know, we should call the burst over here with some water. Your pants are on fire. Like, all over. And Dorian, liar, liar, pants on fire. Do you get Wait a minute. I, I do not need you to explain that expression to me. Thank you. And I don't need to explain my relationship with Clint to you. I really resent being patronized by a teenager. Okay, fine. You don't have to tell me the story. I know I hate it when I get the third degree from my parents just because I don't smile 24-7. They ask because they care. I know that, and that's why I'm not mean to them when I walk in the door and they ask me how my day was, and all I want to do is veg out on the couch. And I care, too, so that's why I was asking. Thank you, Star. I really appreciate that. Well, I appreciate everything you've been doing for Langston recently. And usually you're always helping everyone else and it seems like you never need any help but if you do you know who to call your powers of observation are even more powerful than most grown-ups really your mother has never asked me a single question about my relationship with clint that's because you always make it seem like everything's perfect okay we are having some problems right now but nothing that can't be worked out but you seem really bummed out we had a fight a couple of weeks ago it still hasn't been resolved you've been fighting ever since okay fights maybe too strong a word we're mature adults we don't really fight okay well then what's the problem and remember i'm asking because i care right okay um clint feels that I'm spending so much time worrying about Langston. That I'm not devoting enough time to him. And he's mad about that? He's going through a difficult time right now, what with his father dying, and he wanted me to go with him to Texas for the reading of the will. But what with your parents out of town and, and the situation with Langston becoming critical, well, I had to send him off alone. And he didn't understand that? It's nothing that I can't fix once he gets back, all right? Can we not talk about this anymore? Yeah, sure. Well, I'm kind of in a mood right now. Why? Because Cole was supposed to meet us here, and when I called him, he gave me this story about how his computer crashed, and I don't know, I, I can't get in touch with him, and it's going right to voicemail. Oh, do you feel he's being less than truthful? I don't know. 
I just want him to know that I'm worried about him and I care, you know. Oh, I know. You don't want Cole to think that you're whiny or clingy, do you? Well, it's not whiny or clingy to let a guy know how you miss him or that you can't wait to see him, right? No, I suppose not. I mean, how else would he know that you're thinking about him? True. Hmm. You know, for a kid from a family that a lot of people would say was dysfunctional, you have a great deal of wisdom. <laughs> right. <laughs> sure, I have all the answers. More than you know. Star. Hey, kiddo. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just wanted to hear your voice. Yeah, I miss you guys. We miss you too. How's the search going? Not so hot. You'll find him, Dad. I know it. You think? Well, you found me when I ran away. And then you found Jack, too. When it comes to tracking down your kids, you're an old pro. <laughs> Thank you. Can I talk to her? I want to ask for something. Hold on. Your mom wants to talk to you. Hey. Everything okay? You're keeping an eye on Dad, right? I'm doing my best. We'll give him a kick in the ass if he needs it. Yeah, well, I've been known to do that. Listen, how's Langston? Uh, did you say anything to Dad about that yet? No, actually, uh, um, I haven't had uh, the opportunity. Well, it's probably a good thing because you're, uh, you're out of the running. What? The agency nixed your application to be Langston's foster parent because you weren't there for the surprise home visit this afternoon. <sighs> no, no, that can't ha... I'll tell you what, can you get me the number for, for child services? No, 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 Mom, Mom, it's okay. Dorian applied in your place, and I really think it's going to work out. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, you just have Dorian call me first thing in the morning, all right, sweetie? And just... just don't worry, Dorian, and please don't fight with your brother, okay? I won't. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. 